Hello dear ones, it's Alice and I'm here at the giant eucalyptus tree to show you another view which I hope I can get down right. It is so huge. I can't begin to tell you how beautiful and huge it is. And it's right in the middle of a circle in the middle of a busy street in Santa, Santa Monica. And the main thing I was going to mention is about the bark of the eucalyptus tree, which as you can see right here, kind of swirls around and around itself and creates a very fluid, liquid feeling. And I was, I've enjoyed this, this bark of the eucalyptus tree for a long time now. And I just thought I'd mention that this swirling motion reminds me of the alternate timelines that uh, Tom Kenyon talks about, jumping alternate timelines. And uh, it's kind of like uh, when timelines get close together, like some of the bark gets close together with other parts of the bark in this tree, by your intention you can jump from, from one outcome, one outcome in the future, like up higher up the tree, to, uh, to another outcome in the future, just, just uh, just, just near the middle of the timeline you can do that and then things will go differently for you all the way along up, in, up to the top. So that was just my idea is the, the idea of timelines and what we can really do with our intention. We can change the, in, we can change the world that we live in completely. We can switch to a new world with our intention. And that's all I have for now. Look, maybe we're just at the very bottom of the beginning of the intention for the human new race of New Earth, like this. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. I thought I'd add a codicil about jumping time timelines, and I got this from Spirit, so I'm just going to repeat what Spirit said. Um, when we jump timelines, like Tom Kenyon describes, our awareness moves to a different timeline. But in fact, we haven't changed the reality of the multiverse. We've moved our awareness to a different timeline. So our experience of reality changes, and our future changes. But in another reality, the, the universe unfolds in a way, a different way, because in that reality we made the opposite decision. So all those realities exist right now. So, so the the experience of jumping timelines is not an experience of changing reality. In fact, it's sort of a trainer step in multi-diming, multi in, in moving from one dimension to another, or from one time to another, or from one alternate universe to another. And so it's a way for us to experience the richness of all the people that we really are, or all the roles that we are playing in the eternal now. So, I really hope you understand this better than I did. And at any rate, it's a gift from Spirit to you. And uh, blessings to everyone. Love you.